Hey loves, it's your girl Jay Ish, aka The Rich Auntie, and I am back with yet another video. If you're new here, go ahead and tap that notification bell so you don't ever miss an upload from me. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. All right, y'all, so I am in my car. I have some exciting news to share with you all. <laughs> I am moving. Oh my goodness. After so many years of living in my first official apartment by myself because i don't really count like the apartments that i lived in when i was like in undergrad that was like school stuff but the apartment that i'm moving from that was like my first real place by myself and i've lived there for six years so i'm uprooting and moving to another apartment it's still in the same city i just needed um i just needed more out of my space out of my home so i made the decision and i went back and forth about this decision for so long because if you know me i love consistency i love stability so i'm not up and moving every six months or every year every two years i am I'm not that girl. So it took a lot for me to actually to decide to move. Um and I'm excited about the move because once I start doing something different or have change in my life, normally it's good. So there's always something good that comes from it. So I'm excited about the move. But the purpose of this video today, I am going to give you an empty small apartment tour. To me, it's it's a smaller apartment i don't know most people probably won't consider it small but i mean it's kind of small to me but it's cute and it's cozy and i'm excited to have a blank fresh canvas to put my touch on in every room so i'm gonna give you guys a tour so let's go i got the keys i got the keys the keys the keys <laughs> All right, so we are inside the apartment. When you first come in, this is the view. And I love that I have ceiling fans. I didn't have ceiling fans in my other apartment. And I don't know if y'all can really tell, but the ceiling is really tall in here. It's really tall. So it's just a wall. And I'm just trying to visualize like what I want to put where. So I'm gonna just pan. I love this door. That's like my favorite part. So I'm gonna just pan. I guess this is like the living room area. And then there's the door. And I just set my purse down here. But yeah. All right, so let's go this way first. Let me cut on some lights. So in here is the kitchen. Um, so it has a door right here. I guess that's just where the air and stuff is. So nothing special in here. Here is a pantry, but it'll be used for more than just a pantry. I'll probably have some other stuff in here too. Yeah, pretty be pretty spacious okay so then you have this area which would be my dining room area now my dining room at my other apartment is a lot more spacious than this it wasn't super connected to the kitchen it was like a space on its own but it is what it is I have some ideas for how I want to decorate this wall and stuff back here in this corner over here. Um, and of course, my table and stuff will be right here. And then you have, I have like a little small patio. It's not super huge, but it's mine. And I love that it's facing the grass. So Pace can go out there and run. And I can sit and not be bothered by a lot of people. There's somebody that lives on the other side of me, but I love that 
this is here so we're not looking at each other and i need to decorate out here too i've never i didn't decorate my patio at my other place so i'm excited to do that and i didn't decorate the patio in my other place because it was upstairs so i never really sat out there but i would definitely be sitting out here okay i would definitely be sitting out here so yeah, let me make sure it's locked honey so don't nobody come in here on me all right so this is my little kitchen not super huge but i don't need a super big kitchen anyway i actually love the oak cabinets let me just give y'all a little pain i actually love the cabinets now something about these apartments that i really don't like baby they do not believe in updating no appliances okay baby it is 2022 i'm gonna need y'all to get some uh black silver appliances Ooh, insert any leaks baby Ooh. Ah, the ghetto the ghetto I was shocked, honey. I was in tears almost. And it has a white refrigerator. I was like, oh, oh, not a white refrigerator. Girl, please put your shoes on. Let's go find you a home, honey. Ooh. What are you doing with a white refrigerator? Oh, the ghetto. The ghetto. But yeah. But it's mine. It's my ghetto. So, huh. But yeah. I wish the appliances were more updated, but it is what it is. Um, and something that I like about the sink that I didn't have in my other apartment is that this part actually pulls out. Um, so yeah, that's pretty. So yeah, that's pretty convenient for me, but it's a lot of cabinet space. I feel. I feel like maybe I'll be cooking more <laughs> since I'm in a new environment. And how sweet they left me like a welcome uh, they left me like a welcome basket i flipped over my paperwork that i need to turn in today because you know security reasons but yeah that's so sweet of them to pack me a little basket how cute so yeah so let me give y'all one last pan so like from the door you come into the kitchen entryway then you have like the pantry and all of that stuff the dining room area and the patio outside and the kitchen all right let's keep going all right so coming back through the living room let's go here so i think this is like <laughs> the what what do they call it like the eye catcher of the room so when you first enter this is literally like the first door you see it's a barn door super cute and it's new i love the handle and this is the guest bathroom so you just slide it oh and they got me hey <laughs> um and this is the guest bathroom nothing too much but i'm gonna make it real cute you know for the people that come just a little simple tub shower little toilet little little sink little mirror again i wish they update these handles and stuff like that and the lights up there but yeah it's pretty simple but yeah, I'm going to make it my own. It's going to be super, super cute once I'm done. It's going to be cute. But yeah. But here, here's what the inside of the door looks like. So when you close it. Uh-oh. So when you close it, then you just hook it like that. But yeah. The barn door. They did what needed to be done with the barn door. Super cute super super cute so yeah if you're a guest at my home you have your own bathroom you don't have to use mine which was not the case in my old apartment because i only had one bathroom so yeah so when you come out of the guest bathroom there's a hallway closet right here for coats or whatever um i actually normally use my hallway closet to store extra teacher things Cause I am crafty, so normally I would put like all my crafts and things like that in here. 
because my coats go in my closet. I don't put them in the in this closet. So yeah, it's pretty it's pretty, nice little amount of space in here. Not too big, not too small. So yeah. Oh, and there's a light right here. Let's turn that off. Let's turn the lights off in here, cause baby, oh, the power bill. Let's yeah, let, let, let's go on back. Let's just turn off all the lights. Yeah, thank you. I already finna have a high power bill. Not today, Satan. Off. <laughs> let's continue. All right, so this is the hallway. Um, right here, these are the doors to the washer and dryer but I, but I don't have them in here yet but this is where they would go and of course they have a shelf up top you know to keep all your washing needs laundry detergent all that kind of stuff so I definitely can't wait to have my washer and oh hello what is that noise uh-uh I'm scared because hello <laughs> what do that mean? What do they know is me? Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't think it's in here. I think it's something outside. Okay, whatever. Let's. Okay. I don't think it's in here. I think it's something outside, actually. Whatever. But like I was saying, I didn't have a washer and dryer hookup in my old apartment. So I'm going to love having my own washer and dryer in my own space. So I don't have to drag no clothes to no laundromat or to my dad's house or nothing like that. So yes, yes, yes. So this is the my little laundry room. Let's close that back up. Close you on up, sis. So this is the hallway. That's the master bedroom. We'll go in there last. This is the secondary bedroom. Again, we have a ceiling fan. Where's the lights? Oh, the lights are here. So one, I guess one light controls the light and the other light controls the fan. Let me give y'all a little pan of the room. So from here, have a window. And I like that the walls have dimension. It's not just flat. So this will actually be my beauty room, I think. I don't really know if I want this room to be my room or the actual <laughs> master bedroom to be my room because I honestly don't think all of my furniture will fit in the master bedroom when I'm about to show y'all in just a minute. So this is the closet in the second bedroom. Pretty spacious. And normally in my beauty room, I stored all of my home decor. So all of my home decor will go in here. Um, all of it may not fit. So I think I may end up selling some things. The ceilings are like super high in here. It's like real tall. Like that's what I love about this. The ceilings here are way taller than my other place. And I don't know if it's cause I'm, I'm staying on the bottom now or what, but the ceilings are very tall. Ooh. Okay, so from this corner, this is what the room looks like. They vacuumed it here, honey. Y'all see them lines? <laughs> but yeah, I'm ready to put a new beauty room together. All right, so back in the hallway, you have the guest bathroom, the laundry room. Well, it's not really a room, but the laundry space, whatever you want to call it. And here is the master bedroom. And there's... Oh. Pause so once again. Cut these lights off, honey. Because who for the pay for our bill? Off. Not today. Off. <laughs> and 
and let's turn these ones on again you have another ceiling fan all right so this little area right here is real cute to me i already have an idea of how i want to decorate right here um look cute they, they try to give the walls and stuff some dimensions instead of just coming in to just four walls so this is the master but i feel like it's smaller than the other room i don't know i don't know i don't know my old room is definitely bigger um so i don't know if i would use this room as my beauty room or my master i don't know maybe i'm just looking at it without the furniture in here and thinking it's too small for all my furniture it might not be i just i don't know so yeah so let's start here so we have another closet it's basically the same kind the only difference is that the water heater is in here um so that takes a little bit of space away and I guess like the con to this is I'm used to having a big walk-in closet. So like in my old place, I had a, a big walk-in closet, but we're going to make it do what it do. A lot of shelf space. And this gives me a reason to downsize on all the clothes that I have that I don't need. So thank you. So let's close this back up. So from this side i hope i'm doing a good, a good job holding this camera all right so this side i actually have a bathroom again the ceilings are high with our ceiling fan um again we have another barn door um i'm so excited that there's a bathroom inside of the master i didn't i only had one bathroom in my other place so i didn't have a bathroom inside of my room it was just my room and the walk the big walk-in closet so i guess that kind of compensated for a bathroom which is why i feel like the room is actually a little bit smaller because they had to make room for a bathroom which is okay but i mean living in an apartment you're not going to get every single thing you want so you gotta be be willing to compromise on some things so yeah all right so let's go into the bathroom so again it's another barn door same style as the guest bathroom you just slide and the lights are here and there's me oh wait a minute sugar you're too loud up there Okay, so um, the only difference in here is more space. Obviously, it's a lot bigger in here, but um, I don't have a tub. But that's not a big deal because if I actually want to get in a tub, I just go in the guest bathroom. So I ain't tripping on that. So again, I actually love the color of the paint on the walls. This little tannish beige khaki color. Um, so it's just a standalone shower. Which is okay because I mostly take showers anyway. Unless I'm doing like self-care, then I actually sit and have like a bubble bath. Um, simple toilet. Come on, plunge. Yes. Um, there's a toilet. The sink is a little bigger in here. And it has two cabinets instead of just one. Um, I am used to a bigger bathroom in my other place because it was just one bathroom. So it was just bigger. It had a lot of cabinets and stuff like that. But once again, it's cool. Hell, I'm looking a mess, y'all. So y'all excuse me. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm going to decorate it real nice. Y'all ain't going to even know it's the same place because I will definitely be showing y'all how to decorate a small apartment, honey. Um, and for most people, this may not be small, but it, I mean, it's still kind of, I mean, I don't know. It's small to me. Like the bathrooms are small. The rooms are smaller, but it's okay. So from over here in the corner, this is just what it looks like. I can't wait to decorate y'all. I'm just so excited. But yeah, even though it's small, even though some of the things are outdated, it's still mine, honey. So to she's still in her, in her own place honey and again it's still oh it locks that way but i won't be locking no doors honey because i live alone so <laughs> this door would be wide open do you understand <laughs> coming out butt naked wide open 
But yeah, so let me turn these lights off. And when you stand at the bathroom, this is what the room looks like. I don't know, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I just feel like it's small because even at my other place before I moved my furniture in there, I was like, my bed and stuff is not gonna fit. It's gonna be too big. And it fit perfectly and I still had a whole bunch of room left. So I may just be tripping, but we'll see. We will see. But yeah, guys, that is basically it. Once again, lights off, power bill down, okay? Let me make sure all these lights off, honey. But yes, I start moving my stuff in tomorrow. I have, I still have two weeks to get all my stuff moved in. So it's not like one big day of moving stuff. But yeah, I love my little place. I'm, I'm happy. You know, because not a lot, I'm blessed. Because not a lot of people have the means to be living on their own and stuff like that. So I am blessed. I'm happy. But yeah, guys, that is about it. That is the, oh, look, come on. Come on through, son. Come on through. That is the tour of my small apartment or whatever you want to refer to it as. But um, I will try my best to do some moving vlogs so that y'all can see the process from start to finish. Y'all have already seen the blank canvas. I can't wait for y'all to see the finished product because I love, I actually love to decorate. I love decorating. So yeah, I'm excited to have a new layout, a new format to put my touch on. So yeah. But what I need to know is, do I need to do anything to this wall where the barn door is? Cause it's just kind of blank right there but when it's open it'll be covering up whatever it is so i know i can't necessarily hang pictures and stuff right there but yeah but just drop some suggestions down below like let me know the name of the room so like this if you have suggestions for the kitchen tell me master bedroom tell me secondary bedroom tell me guest bathroom master bathroom let me know sis and brother whoever Uncle, cousin, niece, granddaddy, let me know. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't want this video to be too long and formal. So I just wanted y'all to be updated on my life. Your girl is moving. It is official because I got the keys, the invisible keys. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I have for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't ever miss an upload from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. And as always, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.